Alex. There's a party. You've been invited. No supervision. You're not totally present. I have to pull in the backyard. <laughs> you can't do Alex, 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 no. Don't listen to him. Look, right here in the Bible, in 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 11, it says, Turn away from evil and do good. Search for peace and work to maintain it. If you go to that party, are you going to be staying away from evil? No. No, you're going to be putting yourself right in the middle of it. Listen to what the Bible says. Forget him. i got to listen to what the Bible says. It'll keep me on the right path. Hey, Alex. You've been working all day. Go ahead. Do that video game. Okay? Put on your head, head that No one's going to know. No one can hear the noise. Don't worry about that homework. You'll get to it. You know you. Stop again. Alex, let's go back to 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 12. The eyes of the Lord watch over those who do right, and his ears are always open to their prayers. But the Lord turns his face against those who do evil. You are a child of God, okay? Just because nobody else is in your room, does not mean that God isn't, and he sees what you're doing. What are you going to choose? I'm going to choose to listen to what the Bible says, because God's always watching me. Hey, Alex. You don't know enough about Scripture to talk about God to your friends. Just, just be quiet. Don't say anything. Let it go, because remember, you're a kid. The, the parents tell you to be quiet. The adults tell you to be quiet. Oh, you don't need to be this is craziness. There's another verse in the Bible. In 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12, it says, Don't let anyone think less of you because you are young. Be an example to all believers in what you say, in the way you live, in your love, your faith, and your purity. Nobody can tell you that you're too young to tell others about Jesus. I have every right as the older people. I know just as much. Take this. You see what I did there? Every time I was tempted with something that was affecting me, I used Bible verses and scripture to take out that temptation. We are in the midst of a spiritual warfare. There's the side of God and there's the side of Satan. Also, in 1 Timothy, chapter 1, verse 18, Paul is talking to Timothy about how he should fight the good fight. Timothy, my son, I am giving you this command in keeping with the prophecies, once made about you so that by recalling them you may fight the battle well, holding on to the faith and a good conscience, which shall never reject it and suffer shipwreck with regard to the faith. you got to stand strong in the faith. The battle's not going to be easy, but with God on your side, you can do just about anything. Let's pray it out. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for everything that you've given us. Lord, please just give us the strength to be able to be a soldier for you. Let us be able to do the right thing, to make those good judgment calls just to further your kingdom, not to give in to what Satan says. I know it's a tough time right now. But with your help, we can get through anything. In your son's name and people said, Amen. Amen.